How you like that one? This one's going out to the bartenders and security staff of this club. And to Jake and P. Shapiro. Rosie! Yeah, you know it. Before, before Rodney's speed continues, we gotta make a little announcement, and it's that next month we're celebrating our 12th anniversary. And if I asked how many people have been in this club in the year 2000, I, I think we'd get a lot of them. But how many people here were at Wetlands in 1989, the year we opened? Well, Rodney was here that year, and there's a girl at the bar tonight named Denise, a blonde girl, a blonde, very beautiful girl with tattoos named Denise, and she was here in 1989. And they're the only two people who were here in 1989 working here when we opened who are still working here. And Dave Nolan in the DJ booth, excuse me. Disco Dave Nolan. DJ and light man extraordinaire. And we wanted, we wanted to give Rodney this extraordinary opportunity to rock it for all of you because his job here isn't as a performer, but we think he can stand right up alongside anybody who's ever graced this stage. Do you guys agree? So let's let Rodney Speed give us one more. One more. All right. Yeah. I've been in this club for about 12 years now. I've seen bands come and go. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the next song. G, kick G. No, sir. It's a bit too hot. It's all part of the show. All right. This next song is a group you're going to find out later on. But after I did some research on the song, I found it was based on a very true story. This group went out to Montro to record, and record their album, and somebody, and somebody had a flank in it and burned the place to the, burned the casino to the ground. So they had to find another place was a hotel. It wasn't very easy. You probably know who I'm talking about, do you? If you don't, well, you will. Give me that, give me that number, guys.
There's more to come. Gracias, gracias. Thank you very much.